I have a second channel, Cube Compium DDX. Hey everybody, we're back yet again with another video featuring the Internet Explorer PC. So I just did a video about this thing. I had just upgraded it to socket 939 using former Black Max hardware. Now for those who don't know the Black Max is my parents' computer and I just did a video talking about this so I'm going to put a link right up here if you want to watch it. But um, I'm going to attempt to install Windows 11 on socket 939. So this system is a uh, AMD Athlon 64X2 dual core CPU 4200 plus Manchester core it has two gigs of DDR400 RAM installed it's got a GeForce 8400 GS graphics card in it um, 80 gigabyte Hitachi Death Star ID hard drive from any machine so it's pretty much the same as the uh, the previous video featured of this machine trying to run Windows 11 on it, except for the motherboard, the CPU, and the graphics. I mean, everything else has not really been changed. So, that being said, we're going to keep our fingers crossed that this machine will um, support booting from USB. Because we're going to attempt to do a clean install Windows 11 on this. And, of course, as y'all probably know, this hardware does not support Windows 11. Or better yet, I should say... It doesn't meet the minimum requirements for Windows 11, which uh, would uh, which would exclude the vast majority of computers in existence right now. <laughs> Let's just say that only the uh, only the elite class of computers can run Windows 11, according to Microsoft. But um, I'm going to pop in this flash drive here, and we're going to attempt to clean install Windows 11. And you can see it. Uh, Windows 7 there picked it up. That being said, um, let's go ahead and restart this thing and let's see how we do. All right, let's see. Let's see here. Try to get out of this splash screen. I don't know. There we are. It does take this thing a little bit to get through post. It always has. But it didn't give me didn't really give me an option to uh, access the boot menu. Don't you just love our uh, our splash screen there? <laughs> Custom splash screen. It really brings back memories. And there we are. It's booting into Windows 11 setup. So, as I mentioned, this machine definitely does not meet the uh, elite class system requirements set by Microsoft for Windows 11. Um, so, we had to use, of course, um, a utility to modify this drive. What I did is I used the Rufus utility to modify it, where uh, it bypasses the checks. Now, I, th I can't say for certain on this, but I think you may be able to uh, clean install using just a regular... ISO. I never actually tried it. But, uh, we're going to let this uh, load the files and we'll go from there. Okay, so um, right now I think it's locked up because I pressed the uh, num lock on the keyboard and the num lock light is staying lit. This is the same thing that the uh, Socket 74 board did. And um, with that being said, I'm going to try something else. I'm going to see what Windows 10 actually does. So I'm going to shut this thing off. Okay, so as you've seen in the previous clip, um, Windows 11 would freeze when starting up on this hardware. Um, it did the same thing as it did with the Socket 754 setup. So I'm not sure if it's a, it's a limitation of the processor or if it's something to do with the motherboard's chipset. I did have some issues with Windows 10. Uh, trying to install Windows 10 on some 
NVIDIA based chipsets and so I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to actually insert a Windows 10 DVD since this computer for some reason will not read off that flash drive there actually no not that one uh, another one that has my Windows 10 installation media on it so we insert this into the uh, DVD drive and I'll demonstrate 32-bit first to show you what it should do and then I'll insert the 64-bit uh, DVD to show you what it does or what it will do I'm actually I did I, the thing is I already tested this out but I forgot to get it on video I just can't find or either that I shot the video and I just can't find the files so I'm just reshooting it so So it's going to read the DVD and load some files. And of course, on the 7, it would have the little progress bar at the bottom. There's any loading files, but of course, they, this is not Windows 7. So we don't get that. <laughs> Generally, what happens is it loads files off the disk, and then you start seeing the little spinning dots on the bottom, which we should get with this installer. You see we now have the little spinning dots. So it's actually loading setup. This will explain how I was able to run Windows 10 on the previous hardware that was in this machine. But of course this Windows 11 is only available in 64-bit. Um, I couldn't. so. I'm going to change out the DVD for my 64 bit installer and I'll show you what it does. So, this is my installer for 64 bit. It's actually built 1709 Windows 10. Alright, so now it's going to um, load the files off the DVD, but when it goes to actually start up, it won't be responsive. Like right now, the numlock key on the keyboard responds and turns the uh, numlock on and off, but um, once it finishes loading files and, and begins to start loading, uh, the system will hang up. Okay, so the DVD drive has finished loading files, and you can see we're just sitting there, no dots. And off camera, I can press the num lock, and it does not respond. It is locked up. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much the deal with this. Um, so apparently, this particular hardware can only seem to run. Um, 32-bit builds of Windows 10, and of course, because there's no such thing as 32-bit Windows 11, it's simply a no-go on this system. Um, I've tried, uh, I've tried different graphics cards. I tried um, the one that's in it, which is, I think is a uh, GeForce 8000 series. Forget which one. Um, I tried a 1700 LE in it, which is actually a little older. But I've even tried a GeForce 210, and it's all the same thing. So, anyways. Like I say, uh, not what I was looking for here, but uh, it is what it is. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.
Well, everybody, that wraps up for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to your channel, and be sure to tick that bell so you get notified when new videos are posted. Also, don't forget, I have a whole lot of other interesting videos here on the channel to check out. And also, in addition, I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX, where I have all sorts of other videos not exactly related to technology. Links to the channels are available at the end of this video. Again, I thank you for your support, and thanks for watching this video.